Hey, what is going on guys? Back with another quick tip for you all. So I've been trying to change the speed of my clips in Adobe Premiere Pro and normally I don't have any issues, but recently I came across an error. Usually I'd right click on one of my clips, click speed and duration, and then change the speed to whatever percentage I want. Now when I click OK, everything looks good. But as soon as I play back the footage, I get the error message in the bottom right hand corner there. And as you can see, the footage freezes up. This error also occurs when using time remapping as well. Luckily, there is a fix for this. So all you need to do is go to File, Project Settings, and click on General. Now where it says GPU Acceleration CUDA, you need to change this to Software Only. There seems to be a conflict between Premiere Pro and the Graphics Card Acceleration feature. So just stick with the Software Only. Now click OK and your clip should be playing back error free. There is one caveat to this fix and that is you lose the GPU acceleration when rendering your final project. So it'll take a bit longer. Now if this fix didn't work for you, I have a better solution and it's something all Adobe Premiere CC users should be doing for all of their projects. What we're going to be doing is creating a proxy version of the clip that's giving us the error. Basically, a proxy is a lower resolution, uncompressed version of your original clip. Many cameras use video formats such as H.264, which uses a lot of compression to minimize file sizes. When we start to edit H.264 files on our PC, the processor and graphics card becomes heavily taxed because they have to uncompress the footage as we edit. For 720p footage, the CPU and GPU doesn't work that hard. But as we edit 1080p and 4K footage, then we start to see a lot of lag. Before we create the proxy clip, I'm going to try and replicate the error again. It seems that the error occurs when changing the speed of any clip to 800% or higher. So I'll right click on the clip, click speed and duration and change the speed to 800%. Now when playing back the clip, sure enough we get an error and the clip is frozen or choppy. To fix this, you want to make sure you have Adobe Media Encoder installed first so it can convert the clip. You'll also want to re-enable CUDA so we can make use of the GPU acceleration features. Then right click on the affected clip, go to proxy and click create proxies. For format, select QuickTime. For preset, select ProRes medium resolution proxy. If you don't have this preset, any of the other presets should work, but file sizes will vary. Under destination, you can choose to save the proxy clip in the same folder as the original clip but it's better to save all your proxies in a separate folder so you can delete them later to save drive space. Click on Browse, navigate to where you want to save your proxies and create a new folder named Proxies. Double click the folder and click Select Folder. Click OK and now Adobe Media Encoder will automatically open and start to convert the clip. As you can see here next to video, it says 1280 by 720 resolution. But don't worry, when you export your final project, it won't downgrade your 1080p or 4K resolution footage. Once the conversion is done, you can close out of Adobe Media Encoder. And then if you go ahead and play back the footage, you'll notice that the error is still there. And this is because we're still playing back the original clip and we need to switch it to our proxy clip. In order to do this, you need to first bring up the toggle proxies icon. Click on the plus sign here and drag and drop the toggle proxies icon onto the toolbar here.
Now click on the toggle proxies icon to enable proxies. And when you play back your footage, you'll notice that the clip plays back how we want it, nice and smooth and error free. You can even scrub back and forth through your clip a lot easier and faster now that your PC doesn't need to work as much. From here, you can export your project normally and Premiere will always export by using the original clips and not the proxy clips, even if you have proxies enabled. There is one caveat to using proxies and that is you'll need extra drive space for the converted proxies. The proxy files will be a lot larger in comparison to the original files. As you can see here, the original file is 725 megabytes at the bottom here. But if we look at the proxy version, it's 911 megabytes due to the uncompression. If you have the extra drive space, it's well worth creating proxies because you can edit projects a lot faster. If you do need the drive space back, you can always delete the proxy clips folder and Premiere will automatically revert back to the original clips. If you are still receiving an error, you can try updating Adobe Premiere and your graphics card drivers. Sometimes rebooting your PC works too. Well, hope this helped you out. Please like and subscribe for more content and I'll catch you guys all in the next one.